Thank you for joining us today for Unite for Safe Care. Thanks to all of you and your generous support, we've been able to raise important funds to support medical education and community outreach programs for the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, preventing patient harm in hospitals and healthcare systems around the globe. Some solutions are complex, some are very simple, such as good hand washing. Partnering with 4,793 committed hospitals across 48 countries, our free healthcare improvement programs on independent audit has helped over, save over 93,276 lives last year and over 366,353 lives since our inception in 2012. And this is all from independent audit. These are not our figures. We're encouraged by these lives that have been saved as it demonstrates that solutions are out there. We just need to implement them. We all need to have our hospitals as really good healthcare organizations that are safe for our patients to enter. They all need to be high reliability organizations, just like our important areas like nuclear power. What could be more important than the hospitals that our patients go to. So we will get there. Now, uh, I'd like to introduce to you uh, Lauren Rayner, our Chief Development Officer for the Foundation. Lauren? Thank you, Mike. We are so pleased that you were all able to join us today. The donations we raise help to advance our mission, education programs, and advocacy work to improve patient safety. Funding will also save lives and give us the capacity to build new resources and solutions that will positively impact healthcare organizations globally. Join us today by making a donation. You can text UFSC to 44321 or use the donate link on this page. Every dollar you donate gets us closer to eliminating preventable patient harm and death. We appreciate your support and investment in our mission. We also want to thank our generous sponsors, 10th Dot, Jewish Healthcare Foundation, Josie King Foundation, Kaiser Permanente, Larmark, Massimo, Medtronic, Mind Matters PAC, MedStar Institute for Quality and Safety, RL Datex, Smart Patients, and the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Thank you to all of our wonderful volunteers who have worked tirelessly to ensure our program was a success. We could have not done this without you. Mike, back to you in closing our program. We appreciate your participation in our programming. It's been amazing to see how many people have joined us during this campaign over the last 10 days, helping to bring awareness to patient and health worker safety. We'd hope to gather in thousands in person today, but instead we've gathered in thousands virtually. We look forward to the time when we can all gather together again in person, safely for a big demonstration and a march for patient safety to celebrate this, the second World Patient Safety Day. World Patient Safety Day doesn't stop today. We still have work to do if we plan to get to zero preventable deaths by 2030 but we can do it. With all your help, your enthusiasm, your assistance, we can get there and we can prevent preventable harm as well and so that everywhere that we have healthcare is safe. We can go to those hospitals and know that the chance of an error is incredibly small. So we hope that you'll continue to follow our work and support us and get involved with the organization, the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Thank you for all our speakers and performers. We appreciate your participation in our program. Thank you for joining us in uniting for safe care. Thank you all. Hospitals are still the most dangerous places on earth. And you look at during the pandemic, they're dangerous not just for patients, they're dangerous for staff. They've been dangerous for staff and patients for a long time. There's violence against healthcare professionals and there's violence against patients in the form of medical 
errors that are preventable. We were in crisis prior to COVID in the healthcare system. So now we are asked as healthcare workers to go into a now war zone. Staff safety and patient safety are two sides of the same coin. And that's why in this pandemic year, more than ever, we need to unite for safe care. None of us go into healthcare to harm patients. We choose medicine so we could heal and support those in need. Like other high-risk industries, we need to find solutions that trap these errors before they cause harm to our patients. To unite for safe care means to speak up. It means to say what we know so that we can begin to count these errors and these harms with each other no matter what role we have to play in that medical delivery of care or that medical receiving of care. We're all patients at one time or another, and we all rely on the care provided to us by healthcare workers across the world. Too often it feels like we're on opposing teams or teams with opposing agendas, but in fact, there's only one agenda, and that is to help the patient get better. Culture is essential and it serves as a solid foundation to build process improvement projects on top of to be successful. One of the issues that we really need to take on if we're ever going to achieve health equity and eliminate disparities is take a, a honest, courageous look at structural and institutional bias uh, and racism that has been part and parcel of healthcare delivery and clinical decision making far too long. We have to build that trust back in healthcare. We have to be able to trust that no matter what color we are, what ethnicity we are, we will come through that procedure or that treatment better than we did when we went in. But what we don't want is to come out worse and harmed. That should be a standard for all of us in this country and we know how to do it. We just have to come together and we have to shine a light on the problem address it with all the candor that we can find in our hearts and work together to improve it. So this Unite for Safe Care campaign is something that each and every one of us can be a part of, can participate in, can learn from, and we can share our experiences in how to make healthcare safer. I am proud to represent this movement that has the potential to improve our lives immensely. Unite for Safe Care represents to me hope, health, and happiness. So we can do this. We need to do this. We've been working with legislators to align the incentives and increase transparency. During this pandemic is our time to step up and say we're going to do better for our patients and for each other starting today. So keep going. Keep bringing in new partners. Keep coming to the table together to save lives and fulfill that promise of zero preventable deaths.